But That's here we are, King Cutter. All right, so we're gonna go show you King concepts. Is it, what's it called? The hardest concept. No, Cutter concepts, right there. Oh yeah. So we just got to the barber shop. He's already in there. He already Oh shit! You fully opened up the door. You don't give a fuck. I'm gonna let you introduce. I'm gonna let you introduce me. And Toby's looking for some lotion. Lotion, potion, gravel lotion. You find it? You might as well just ask him. You found it? <laughs> Be searching the whole car. Now we're putting on the right here. It is. You gotta introduce me, man. I got so I got you three easy. You're the man for working up early. Huh? I said, You're the man for working up early. Or are you there? Now, everybody would do that. Oh, here's my cousin from London. I did. Hey, that's yeah. the best part of right town. Brother, good yeah, to meet you, man. Yes, my, my cousin's giving you high reviews, man. Oh, Telling me the best part of your channel. Hey, man, good to see you all, man. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, you man, let them know. Let them know. Tell them what you're doing. How's it going? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm doing a big ball fade real quick. Yeah. On y'all's on y'all's grooms, man. Um, just trying to do something quick for him, man, just so he can have a fresh cut for the uh, for the wedding. So yeah. skin fade, gonna uh -huh. keep it curly up top. All right, and a nice line up. You're gonna go have him looking fly today. Yeah, hey. looking fly. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Mr. Money, Mr. Million Bucks. Hey. Yeah, million yeah. dollar man. That's hey. right, that's uh -huh. right. Fresh trim, fresh yes, face. Mike, 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 Mike. What's going on, Mike? You ready? Right there. You ready, Mike? Yeah. Right. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no going back after that. That's right. right. No way. <laughs> 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 that stays yeah, on for yeah. sure. Uh, new life. Yeah, like I was telling y'all. Yo. Anytime you're in DFW, that's the man. Yeah. yeah. Get booked up 24 7, but he just showed love on how to call him, man. You know, yes, he's quiz me. Yeah. So, yeah. You get lucky if you get booked. So he's booked like months ahead. So you Jeez. Just gotta, yeah. That's just how good it is. You guys just check his reviews out. Just go show him the name, check his yeah. website. I'm show them my size, show them the whole works. Book C, you see the rating. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are, King Carlos. Yeah, no, everything was solid for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, so, good boy kings you guys will see. How long you been cutting for? All, all the way. Reviews, ratings, oh, stars, everything. Love yeah, yeah, yeah. Love, yeah. Love, love. Been at my new shop for about a year and a half. Now this is your first time being here. Yeah, right? first time used to be at the old shop, but it get crowded. Everybody just in one side. Yeah. Oh, one side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that is good, man. It's so always good to see people uh, progress. progress. Yeah, yeah, so, definitely, like, man. His own shop, his own business, you can see. Yeah, entrepreneurship so, part is finest, man. Shop all day, every day. That's, uh, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, Mike, your life's about to change forever. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what it is to be a man, but now you gotta learn what it is to be a husband. You know what I'm saying? Two different things, man. So, man, you learn that. You're gonna learn your wife every single day. You know, it's kind of like school. You never stop learning your wife, man. You know, she's forever growing, you forever growing. You know, and y'all forever, you know, learning each other, man. Man, it's, 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 it's fun, though, man. Yeah. When you get married, bro, you get favor. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna start seeing doors open up that you ain't never seen open up before, man. Wow, wow, that's big, man. That's, that's big. What marriage wow. does, man. It brings you favor, man. Yeah. Shit. You ready, brother? Dude, are you taking notes? <laughs> Take notes, man. Take notes, it's a lot pressure, man. It's a lot pressure, oh, man. man. You be alright. <laughs> Oh man, every, 
Oh man. They say when your friends start getting married, you will black. Oh man, oh man. You're like the fifth person to hit me up with that one as well. And when I got married, man, I had other barbers get married. Like everybody was getting married. Yeah. Everybody was like under under 30. Oh, what, well, to get married under 30? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Yeah. I just touched 30 this year. <laughs> oh, see, I must be talking. Okay. Yeah. I'm talking about you, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is the under 30 season, man. Yeah, this for is sure. 30 and under season. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Shit. Oh, man. So, yeah, literally just here in the barbershop now. Freshening up. Uh huh. I gotta find your YouTube, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you. I got a business card as well, man. I got a business card. Yeah, literally, man. You always utilize it, man. It's such a big platform. Oh, yeah, it is, man. Yeah. And we all have access to it. Oh, no great. doubt, and it's free. It's free. So if you can mm -hmm. deliver content, you can, you know, mm -hmm. change your whole situation. Even if you put your cutting online, trimming online, mm -hmm. get you more clientele, man. Get you people flying interstate, man. You're right, though, man. Yeah. Right. We all have access to YouTube. Mm -hmm. You got people like me coming internationally just to get trimmed from you, big dog. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I'm coming from London just to get a haircut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're international out here, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. You know, when you got international audiences, so the game's different now. Quick 10 minute cut, everybody. Yeah, 10 minute. Look at that whole 360 transition. How you feeling, Jonah? Yeah. Oh, new me. He wasn't, he wasn't too, set. He wasn't too sure at first. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, man, I might not be able to get a haircut. It's freaking damn, I left it too, too last minute. But you good. You good. Yeah, he was standing outside on his phone. I said, okay, it's already somebody out there. So. Yeah, freaking, yes, business started early. Yeah, man, early bird so catches good. the worm. Early bird catches the worm. That's bro. it, man. Hard work pays off. He's catching, we're catching the worm right now. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. I knew you're just gonna keep excelling like that as well. Yes, sir. Yeah. How long you been cutting for now, brother? Professionally. Yeah. yeah. Professionally for about seven years. Yeah, you're a veteran now. Yeah. yeah. So seven years professionally, and mm. uh, but I've been cutting since I was like in grade school and everything. Oh wow, what made you decide to start cutting, man? Just out of curiosity. A lot of people in my family are hairdressers, so I All have right. a natural love for I have eight sisters. Oh wow. Yeah, wow. Yo, wow. Yeah, I got eight sisters and four of them are hairdressers. Oh wow, so it, it, it just you just fell in line sort of yeah, thing. Yeah man, I always been around hair and uh, Sure. And when I was young, mm. my mother, she actually came back from Liberia. Alright. And uh, we kinda went we restarted our life over in Houston. Yeah. And um uh, we were looking for different barbershops. Mm. And uh, I used to sit down and watch the barbers cut hair. Mm. It looked so it looked so cool to me. I was like, man, I want to do that too one day, you know. And uh, I picked them all. I bought me some cheap clippers from the uh, dollar store. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> and uh, I just kept on going, man. And uh, oh, you'd say it's your calling, and from there on, you just made it oh, a professional yeah, career. Definitely. Yeah, and no, I respect that. I respect I that. I respect that. You cut? Did you cut um, Afro Caribbean hair only? Did you cut Caucasian hair, Indian yeah, I hair? Cut, I cut all, all hair textures. Yeah. Okay. Now I came up cutting, you know, this type of hair. Yeah, come because it's on our doorstep sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's all I, you know, that's all I was around. So started out cutting this. I mainly cut, you know, this type of hair, mm. like Afro hair. Mm. But um, you know, being in this area, you got a little bit of everybody. Got Very diverse, hair, isn't it? Whites, mm. Hispanics. Everybody, so that's it. Yeah, you cater towards all audiences. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was kind of tough to learn a different hair texture. Yeah, because different hair textures, they, they, it does different things. You know, I feel you. I feel you. So you have to approach the haircut a little bit different. You just accommodate towards the person, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely.
Yeah, that makes sense, man. That makes sense. This is all a blessing. No doubt. Do you cut hair at people's houses? Do you do? I used to, man. I used yeah. to do that heavy, man. Like I remember when I was in barber school. Are you taking this off? Or yes. Or just oh wow, you, you went to like oh. school for barbering. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so I went to barber school when I was in barber school. Yeah. Man, sure. I used to cut hair. Cause I mean, I, cutting hair helped me pay my bills too. No, I toilet stand. Cutting hair would, you know, be beneficial to me to make ends meet. Yeah, so, yeah, no doubt. Man, I would be at barber school and yeah. after barber school, I wouldn't even go straight home. I'd go to somebody's house to cut hair, you yeah. know, then go home. Yeah, you know, yeah. I used to go like 45 minutes out to cut a family's hair and I wasn't even charging that much. So oh, wow. I was, I was spending more on gas than the cost of, than I charged to cut the hair, you See. know, so. But, you know, I was hungry. I needed the experience, mm. you know, and I did it anyway. You're perfecting your craft in an essence. I was going way out to Cedar Hill. You know, Cedar Hill, Mike? Yeah. Yeah, way oh, out wow. there to Cedar Hill, man, to cut some hair. Bro. What's that, the sticks? Yeah, and the sticks, bro, and the boondocks. All right, all right. Yeah. Okay, okay. But yeah, man, I just love cutting hair, so I done cut hair in the weirdest places, man. Yeah? What would you say the weirdest place you cut hair, man? Uh, I would say one of the weirdest places was I had started working this job through a temp service. Yeah. And, um, it was it was like we we're mostly outside. Yeah. And one of the supervisors, he was he was an older he was a funny guy too, an older Hispanic guy, real funny man. Mm -hmm. And I told him I cut hair. Yeah. And he was like, uh, okay, well I need a haircut. <laughs> he was like, uh, well bring your clippers tomorrow to work. I was like, what? I'm like, we ain't even asked the real boss yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, I brought it the next day and uh, I got it out of my car and I had cut his hair outside the job, right on the side of the building. Oh, wow, on you the strip. Like in the middle of our work day. Oh, and wow. A so, quick fade, kind of like this hair, like a quick fade. Yeah. And uh, it was, then actually the soup, the real supervisor, the boss, he had actually walked around the building, peeked over, kind of looked like what? Then he just turned around and took off. Captain Truman, yeah, he's thinking what's going on here. Nah, for sure, for sure. But yeah, it's full bathrooms, all kinds of places. You done internationally yet? You gone overseas to cut up? Not yet, man. Yeah, right, that's was, next in the list, man. man. Speak yeah. That, speak that into existence. No doubt, you been next in the list, man. Oh, you be going interstate. Oh, hey, sure. Hey, <laughs> hey, you go fly out to London, get quick phases. Hey, yeah. Hey, no doubt, hey, no doubt, hey, no doubt. Hey, yeah. Y'all seem like a real great group, group of brothers, man. Yeah, like no, definitely, brothers. man. Solid, we, we, yeah. Mikey, solid, brother, yeah, man. solid so, for sure, man. That's we grew up together, man. man. We grew up together, oh, literally. Man, that's awesome, I remember coming back here in 2009, and then, mm -hmm. yeah, I kept coming every other summer. Wow. And I had to see him, you know, taking the next four steps in his life oh, yeah. for success. It's such a great, mm -hmm. great, great, great to witness. I know Mike would do this properly as well, man. No half-heartedness. Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. I'm going to tell you if you did it properly. You know, looks like a brand new man. Yeah, I see. Look at that. Look at this trip. Yo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Look at that. You okay? For lie guy. Lie guy. You can conquer the world now, no one's stopping you. <laughs> stop now, brother. Conquer the world. Can't stop or won't stop? What time y'all got? I'm gonna make sure we're good on time. Uh, 7 25 right now, time to do that. Uh, Seven twenty-six. He got the real camera over there too, man. He don't got no camera phone. He got nah, the real camera. This one's the ones that makes it, all the moments, man. I see, he got it on the little stand and everything. Yeah, it's all right, kids we got. So as you can see, this is a low, it's a high top fade. Yeah, it's a high top fade. Yeah, high top fade. It's blended in. Yeah, look at the edges. Woof, woof. Oof. Specific detail. How are you feeling, Jonah? Excellent. Yeah. Today's yeah. mic was big day. Uh huh. Yeah. Big day, man. Oh, such an inspiration for the rest of us. No oh. doubt, no doubt. You lead it from the front, man. Trailblazer. Yeah. Trailblazer. Yeah. Trailblazer. Yeah. Trailblazer. Yeah. Trailblazer. Yeah. Set that mic off. 
Next year is Abdul. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure, huh? No pressure. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Two five six Uganda. Two five six Uganda. Let them know. <laughs> Griezmann in the chair now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I tell if I don't get ten percent off that cat. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I'll, I'll be flying you and your missus out, man. Woo! All inclusive, all paid for, man. You good? Yeah. Just quick edge up now. What's that machine for? It's uh, it helps me to do the color a little bit better. Okay. It's an airbrush machine and it helps me to distribute the color a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. I had to get a new uh, a new spray gun for it. It just came in last night, so we kind of like on time. Fresh out the box, so pack. Fresh out the box. Mm hmm. How are barber shops set up in London compared to here? Um, we've got four chairs, minimum four chairs in each in each shop. Um, we've got strobe lights here. Cause yeah, it, virtually the same, brother. I'll be honest uh, with you. You heard of uh, slider cuts? Uh, where are they based? Uh, they're in UK. They're in UK, man. They're yeah. a popular uh, barber shop. I follow him on social media. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. He does a lot of great. Yeah. Education, you know, mm. teaches different barbers, different things. Mm. Real cool guy. Yeah. No, um, the barbers industry in the UK the last 10 years has just gone crazy, man. People are just doing well in the situation whereby, like, they're making a killing. They'll be charging $100 for a trim. $150 oh, yeah. for a trim. They're yeah. not messing about. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's trending now. Oh, really? Like for him, mm. we made him get up at six for us. He opens at eight. Mm. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So yeah, their world is different. Yeah, their I, world is different. It's supply and demand sort of thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, but a you lot know. of people won't even do that. And we just tell you, I'm going to open at eight. I'm just going to do a bed. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's good though, man. Shows dedication, man. Shows preparation as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Best way to be, man. Best way to be. But I saw the grind mentality this way. You yeah, know? America's different. Everybody grinds here, literally yeah. seven to seven. That's the difference between successful people. Uh, yeah, and mediocre, the isn't it? Time. Yeah, the mindset as well. Yeah. Yeah, America's just, like, everybody's just hustling differently, especially here in Dallas, Fort Worth. If you don't hustle, you don't shine. If you don't shine, you don't hustle. Yeah, that's the word we're looking for, entrepreneurs. No one's trying to live off a hand out anymore. Everyone's trying to do their own business or make their own successes. Yeah, best way to be though, independent. 